Hello once again, and if you don't know already, I'm Scott Florence, and just now I'm going to be doing another filler video, and this is going to be about my views about commercial space flight, because that was a request for me to do quite some time ago now, and it's finally about time that I got round to doing it. And I'd just like to say that usually I like to keep my opinions completely out of my videos, but because I'm away, I'm making an exception so I can just get as many videos as possible to stocked up for whilst I'm gone. And if you have any requests or suggestions yourself, just leave it down in the comments below. And if you see it over on the right hand side of my channel page in the About Me section, that will mean that I do intend to do that video now in the future. But my views on commercial space flight, personally, I'm all for it. Yeah, that'll do. I should probably say some more than that. I'm all for it because greed is an excellent motivator for our species. And for that matter, most species are encouraged extremely well by self-gain. And there will be many people around the world that, if they have the money, will love to go to space. There's already been many sales for just going to the edge of space. And those tickets cost in the region of around $100,000. Which, personally, I don't have that sort of money to just spend. And that money as well as probably being one of the first companies to make commercial space travel, and therefore be a fairly historic moment, are probably the biggest motivators for this actually becoming a reality. And prior to privatised space exploration, everything and everyone getting sent into space has been up to the government's choosing how much they want to fund it. For example, NASA, and NASA has never really had very much in the way of spending money. Their peak in the percentage of the Fed budget that they got was way back in 1966 and was at about 4.4%. But since then, the general trend has been a decrease to about half a percent over the last couple of years. And if commercial space flight is really to take off, no pun intended, that would mean that space travel does not rely so much on the government. And not only that, but more and more money would be getting put into actually going to space and having more things sent into space. However, the other way to think of it is that space could lose its charm in the same sort of way that countryside lane getting turned into a motorway does. Currently, space is relatively untraveled. The furthest anyone's ever been is the moon, and that's still in the orbit around our own planet. And if there was to be lots of commercial space travel, how many rockets would be going into space carrying how many people? How many crashes and deaths would there be, and how much debris would be in orbit around our planet? Personally, even when you weigh out all of the hypothetical negatives, I'd still say it's worth it. Definitely go for commercial space flight. Because making space flight commercial would really help the funding for space travel and it would really help the advancements in the technology used for it. But that's all for now and thanks for watching. I'm sorry I, this was a video about my opinions. It's not likely to happen again in the future. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.